So this, this run is going to be well over a month for us. And then depending as, as things develop, we may shuff, shuffle, shuffle some more cards from Kansas to here. So yeah. it may continue. But it's been great. You know, we got a warehouse full, full of carts, and they're going out the door. So everywhere there's a hole for either a grab bar or a lid. So, so the plastic is about 450 degrees molten, uh, and you know our, our cooling water is 45 degrees. Uh, clamp tonnages, uh, with the force that holds the mold closed, range anywhere from 700 tons on the small end. Our biggest machine that makes these is 3,200 ton. Depending on customer specifications and obviously part quality, um, we, we try to run as much recycled content as we can. So we do that in a couple different ways. Uh, we have some reprocessed uh, clear type material that it's a little bit different, but we can run that in, in small percentages. And then, um, you know, we can run blue into blue, brown into brown, but um, through this process, we're also able to run some recycled material into the, the core of our carts. So any, re obviously we don't want to make rejects, but any of that, and it's, <laughs> yeah. it's fact of life. So any of that we make, we, we grind up and reuse. Um, and then any customer returns we get, um, we can also grind up and, and make into new product and recycle yeah. ourselves in-house. 24 seven, three shifts a day. Um, and you know, across all of our groups from scheduling to shipping, engineering, molds, maintenance, production, you know, we will have about 60 or so full-time employees um, and then some some temporary help as well mixed in. I mean, it's, it's eye-opening to think, you know, that uh, you guys potentially filmed, you know, Joe Blow's cart being made today. Um, and just, you know, that there is recycled content in it and we're using that, you know, th this product that we made with recycled content to gather more recycled content, right? And, and someday we'll grind this one up and make another one.